Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play series of Atom RPG. Now, in the last episode, which I'm not quite certain it's going to turn out well, because there were some difficulties with the recording and some crashes, we'll see about that. But um, in case that one doesn't go up, just a short summary, we traveled from Paragon back to KRZ and we kind of killed some a random dude. A random trader, Cavernier. Yeah, I'm it's I'm horrible, but he had this nice armor. Look at this. Look at this beauty. So I I just had to have it. I was like, boom, that's it. But uh, yeah, I shouldn't be. It's really bad, but that's that's life. That's what happens, you know. <laughs> it's post-apocalyptic, uh, you know. Uh, the, the world, what the hell you want? So, now that all aside, is this? Uh, oh, what means? I believe this means uh, who's the one who's those uh, who stop breathing, they stop thinking, or something like that. It was, uh, we have to return or turn in a quest with Abraham, who was actually. They uh, gave us a quest to you know, kill some um, people who were burning books or something. So yes, if Satan has a library in hell, he better hide the books. <laughs> what, what does it mean, my darling? That means that I've sent a whole bunch of book haters straight to hell. The elderly bookseller waves his hands and bursts out with a real battle cry that equally resembles the moaning of a donkey and the roar of a lion. <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes! You did it! You did it! I believe you! Oh, wait, that's what it, it's... That's real Jewish mazal. Okay, that's... Well, I, I guess it's, you know, edgy in terms of, you know, today's perception of American humor. Not Russian one. My darling, by destroying this hotbed of stupidity and thus protecting the book trading business in the region, you became a true champion of science. We love science. Gogol, Chekhov, oh what the hell, even that vulgar Frenchman, Drouron, uploads you from his grave. Oh, why did I switch to French accent? I'm very grateful to you. Here's the modest payment, 350 rubles from all my heart. Continue. Such a measly payment for such a sin, for killing those noble savages? Come on, ah, uh, barter, ah, uh, okay. Ah, give me what you have. Take the money. But there's that. Uh, I've taken. Let's talk some more. I mean, there's some questions. Tell me about yourself. How's the life? That's all not really. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. He had. He definitely has something to trade. So. Oh yes. Kogan the Savage. Do I know these things? Okay, this is interesting. This is inter He has so many interesting things. I am a little bit... Boom glove. Let's see what this is. This is double barrel fun. Okay, no. Topic kill, kill, kill. Okay, let's see what this does. So I bought it for 96 rubles. All right, we'll trade. And then we'll just go... Uh, have a good day. Let's learn this thingy. You'll learn a new recipe. Custom rifle. That's interesting. But as I've said before, this is really... 13 all right I am okay now let's see if we sell this back to the good man Abraham how much would it be worth to him or rubles well I guess we have these so yeah it is what it is let's see what else there is craft a uh, third tier short barrel zip gun no copy Recipe for healing powder. Oh my god, I have to buy this baby just because Fallout. <laughs> what? This is only six ruble. 
What? Maybe. Uh, okay. 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 Let's just give some money. There's that. Trade. Recipe for healing powder. If you have not played Fallout, go and play Fallout. Here's the healing power. <laughs> My god, that was one of the best things ever, so... What? In... What the... Hell? Why would I need three babushka scarves and... Okay, it's just... It's just hit the ridiculous. All right, let's uh, let's see if he has any recipes for armor. Okay. Strange antidote. Knuckle dusters, three bars, zips, a heavy crossbows. Riveted glove. Nope, nope, nope. Weighted glove. Nope, nope, nope. What could this be? Magazine for the workers. Let's just do a quick save and see what these damn things are. I mean, I would really like to see... Knife knuckle dust. Really? No, 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 no. Medicine, medicine for the workers. Let's see what these two can offer us. And hopefully it's something good, because I just paid some money, decent money for them. Hang on a second, did I just... What? Where are they? Did I just buy them? With... Oh, I guess I haven't. All right, let's try again. I thought I clicked done. Okay, maybe maybe I just exited as, as an idiot and I'm like, well, what happened? Yeah, I probably have. Let's see what's going to happen now. Gain survival 15 points, yes. Gain first aid 3 points, yes. I was hoping it was that. That's, that's worth its money, definitely. Uh, continue. Barter some more. Let's see if there's anything else. Ah, this is also interesting. Let's see what we can give you. This this guy it doesn't really react well to these things. I suppose it's just not important to him, right? So it's gonna be money, I guess. Well, let's see. I'm just passing. Have a good day. If these things give us boosts with Speechcraft 20, hell yeah. Speechcraft 14 points, hell yeah. Now that's it. That's worth the cost. Thank you very much, my good man, Abraham. Let's roll. Now, the next stop should be... Where were those crazy guys? Okay, this is apothecary. Let's get there. Still encumbered, unfortunately. Well, we'll get there. We'll just enjoy the scenery and walk casually. Like, yeah, hello. Don't mind us. We're just strolling around. What do you have? That's a nice... That's, that's a nice bulletproof jacket, I would say. It's the same that we have on. All right. October be blessed. What the hell do you mean with October be blessed? Are there any discounts? Communism, learn P perestroik. <laughs> How can I help you, comrade? Could you answer a couple of questions for me? Mao, Mao, comrade Mao, North Korea. Okay, tell me about yourself. He is crazy, apparently. I see another question. How's life in the city? Okay, tell me about your job, dried fish. Okay, 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 okay. Now any good rumors? Maybe, 
We could use this guy in some manner, but... What the hell was that outburst? Ah, seems like you noticed my nervous tick comrade. But it's Troika, Gulag, KGB. <laughs> he has he has a turret syndrome with uh, with the with the communism, uh, with communistic socialistic vibe. <laughs> oh, some time ago, I would, these guys are awesome. The auto, atom RPG developers are awesome. Sometimes, some time ago, I was harassed by a bunch of Leninists. They scared me so much. Now every time I speak, I uncontrollably yell out words and phrase connected to the Soviet Union. Proletariat, Lenin, Stalin, who were the man that attacked you? Peace, Sputnik, expropriation, bleed. Uh, see, the Chamber of Commerce once sent me to have a chat with some mutants. They agreed to sell us large portions of scrap metal, but as we drove to their camp, we were harassed by crazy people. They started insulting us, screaming that we weren't about to negotiate with generals. They said we need to be shot as traitors to the human race and so on, and they screamed and threatened. They used so many of these damn Soviets and Babushka, Kremlin. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so, I would lie if I tell you not Okay... Maybe we got the Krasno Syndrome. No, there's no such thing. Red Army! Excuse me. There's no such thing as Krasno Syndrome. It's a silly lie meant by someone that fooled people and it worked. First aid. Hey, let me try it. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh my god, what? I managed. What? I healed the guy. You? Oh my god, I used fear to fight fear. We have scared him senseless and he stopped. Oh my god, I did, did you really did make it go away? Oh god, I even took up smoking because of my illness. Now I don't need to. Here, take my whole pack. Uh, I can't say no to free stuff, give me. <laughs> Please answer a couple of questions. Tell me about your job. Okay, good rumors, nothing, what a uh, change the topic. How do you feel now? Oh, it's great. I never thought I would lose the ability to speak like a normal person. When I did, I was so scared and ashamed, and now that I'm cured, I will forever cherish the simple things in life. Thank you so much for helping me. Okay, I guess this is it. I should go. Well, another good deed. I think that that's gonna weigh... I think it's gonna uh, compensate for the murder of innocent caravaneers and robbing them. <laughs> so yeah, discount. No, fine, show me your wares. What do you Siggy? Oh, that's that's really, that's a decent amount of, uh, that's decent amount, what's this? What? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Coffee. This is all quite good. Get some money back, then I'm leaving. Bye. Good. Now, if I, if I remember correctly, this would be... What you call it? These guys from the um, from the, the 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 mycelium cult should be up here somewhere. Yep. Loading times a wee bit. Yeah, now uh, can have everything, and I think I should actually try and go. Uh, transfer Atom RPG to my main solid drive. Is this it? Wait, no, it's here. There we go. However, we are quite encumbered, so yeah, we're gonna be strolling anyway. These guys have some very nice nifty. Uh, gear. Hey, what's here? I, the, the curiosity. I just put, I wasn't here. What's here? It's a door. Leads to a house. I want a house. Can I buy a house somewhere? I don't know where I can store stuff. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. A plump, red-cheeked woman. She's not plump. In her 30s, looks at you with a mock reproach. Her arms on her hips, head cocked to one side. 
Um, I'm sorry, what do you think you're doing inviting yourself into other people's homes like this, looking for adventures? What if I'm actively looking? You should be ashamed of yourself. Ah, uh, you wanted something? An adventure for two, a very hot adventure, a very private. What? Okay. Ha ha ha, she laughs. Okay, tell me then, does your wife know that you make passes at poor housewives here? If I don't tell her, my husband will be as he'll be explaining why he shot you. <laughs> like, what a husband, his gorgeous wife waits at home while he gallivants God knows where. Oh, you're married? Then change the subject. Being married has never stopped anyone. I like you, beauty. Show your muscles. I suddenly feel bad. I better go. What would be my true... Okay, let's change the subject. Nah. What's your name? Is Borislava. My name is... Vlad. My husband has the same name. And who is your husband? This is confidential. Alright, he's a god. At the bunker of Chamber of Commerce. He loves me, I know. He worries about me. He's always worried, but he has less and less time for me. Oh, interesting. Maybe we can use that. What do you usually do? Ah, you know it already. Just busy with the household. Getting bored, really. Another question, then. Tell me about this city. Ah, this was short. Another question. Have you heard any interesting rumors? Nothing but utter horrors. You probably like spooky stories, but I have to sleep alone most days of the week. She is pushing this angle big time. Okay, after I hear about worms that get under your skin through your private parts, about Hesperus Star and the creepy tunnel right here in the area, I barely stifle the desire to run my neighbor for, to my neighbors. Oh, for comfort. So don't even start. Let's change the subject. I better go. All right. Vidal, can you go out? I'm in the way of the door. Fidel, move. <laughs> okay, I guess the, the 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 I guess the move. I cannot make the move anymore. So there's that. But. Uh, Good to know, good to know. Maybe we can use this against the guard and not give him 7,000 rubles, like, because that, that would really drive him, drive me crazy, and I would be tempted to shoot him in the head. Boom. Come on, walk, man. Ah, there was this beautiful, charming girl, Ariadna, that actually has enchanted us. We have to do her bidding. That's how it works. That's life. Get enchanted and boom! Game over, man. Game over. Hello. Oh, look at this. this. She's gorgeous. She's like, she is waifu material. <laughs> it's done. I have the filter you need. Give it to me. Here's the filter. Beautiful. 106 experience point. That's really not much. Glad to be of service. Okay, we have had enough time to see that my mycelium is of no danger to anyone. It's not plotting against anyone, isn't it? Anyone ways you understand that now? Blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, we have enemies. They're enemies of progress. Yes, there are enemies of progress everywhere. Villains and heretics who, made, who make it their sacred duty to throw a wrench in our wheels whenever they have a chance in every project, every social initiative. Since we are scientists rather than gangsters, we choose to ignore these pathetic, narrow-minded people, but some of them refuse to be ignored. Take, for example, the wealthy merchant Vadim Nikodimich Pavlyuk. Every governmental meeting, he does his best to upset our plans. He urges the other members of Chamber of Commerce to vote for yet another inspection of our society, or to close us down altogether, or to recognize us there as group, as a vivid imagination, albeit a bit wrapped. I'm making it very dangerous. Measures must be made to see reason, to think about his sinning. I'm not talking about killing or mangling. Mind you, that's what terrorists and gangsters do. We simply want to send him a message. 
In his chambers below the Chamber of Commerce, Vadim Nikodimich keeps a pet pig. Apparently he values the pig's life more than he lives the lives of wastelanders or science. Alright. Exterminate this ridiculous pet of his and leave a note by its corpse. What happens then depends not on us, but upon Comet Pavlik's common sense. Wait, wait, you mean I have to kill the piglet? The task is a bit unconventional, I'll grant you that, but you have to admit it's better than killing the man himself. Why does he keep pig as a pet? I don't know, but apparently he's very attached to the animal, but not so much, I think, as to place the pet's life above his own. You have connections? We have connections many places. Uh, okay, I agree. Wait a minute, can you... <sighs> Okay, I guess we have to kill the pig now. We're gonna be pig pig killers before long. Well, all in the business, I guess. So where is this? Trugovar Palotta. Okay, this is it. Here we go. Uh, maybe we can give something to Dell. Oh, he's overburdened as well, that poor bugger. Fires and whatnot. Ah, just let's just go. I don't know. If I check when I open my inventory, just like I, I want to keep all of this. I will need this. I wanna I wanna have a stash someplace. Just bad, bad much. Uh, Alright. This is the guy from the future. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get to kind of provoke this guy. Uh, I just want to have a chat. Is that him? Okay, we'll pay you 3,500 rubles just because I've freaking had enough. Hmm. Let's do a quick save. Big pocket, oh my god. Where's my money? Have you spent it all already? It's horrible. Alright, perhaps there was another way, but it is what it is. Damn, lost 3,500 rubles for like 40 experience gain. What the hell? I'm gonna rob you blind now. I'm gonna steal everything. <laughs> so what's here? Okay, let's go here and see what happens. Boom. Locked. Let's try to unlock this. Alright. Oh, listen to that music. It's really nice. I prefer, I like the ambiental, you know, like, there we go. Compact cassette. Try this one. Wires, no. No. No, okay, this doesn't really seem to be taking us anywhere. Here we are. Toilet. Some more. More spaces around here. Boy. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a huge bunker here. I guess it's the boss. The boss man, huh? Now. Uh, It's locked. 
Well, I'll, I'll gladly block, uh, break every lock on our path here. Toilet paper, empty bottle. It's interesting that we don't really require water. I mean, like, yes, to cure a person from... Let's see if there's anything interesting. <sighs> okay, let's go, let's go to this damn idiot here. Uh, no, you need food because you get hungry. It's perfectly okay. But you should also need water. But you, apparently you need water just uh, merely to um, remove toxicity out of your system. So there's that. So let's talk with this... Uh, what was his name? Stublin... Uh, what? I have been notified of your presence here. Comrades, high time we meet and talk face to face. Let's leave formality behind us. I'm the Secretary General of the Chamber of Commerce. Gennady Nikolaev, you, Vlad, are a man of mystery, indefinite occupation, but in future potential valuable ally to our city. What do you say? I feel like whether or not we become allies will depend on my willingness to embark on some sort of... Oh, is it? Wrong button. <laughs> How come you're younger? I got to report... Ah, oh, okay, whatever. One more questions. What's the current biggest asset in location size, military force, yada yada yada? One more question. What are the main threats? Bad chaos, that is Paragon, wild gangs are not, the drug trade, the slave trade, the mutants, the so-called atom, just to name a few, but we're holding up pretty good despite all of that. That's Okay. Oh, that's really... What other room and security in the city are biggest concern to you? I'm concerned with the Black Lotus problem. The drugs were seem to be here urban legend not long ago, but now we know it's hurt adults after just two or three uses. It's in our best interest to stop the deadly poison from spreading. Uh, let's change the subject. Okay, there's a circus. What do you want with the circus? They're not the biggest. Dispose of their troop and their tasteless fans. And I mean physically destroy them so they can't just move a couple of kilometers and resume their activities. The remuneration for this job will amount for 3,000 rubles in cash. Okay. Are they really that harmful? You'll be surprised. There's no other way to deal with them, so we excuse the camp. <sighs> yeah. So, we exec uh, execute the kidnappers this week and the drug dealers next week. What will we gain? I'm asking you to alleviate our suffering and cure us from the, these circus parasites once and for all. Uh, one swift and clear blow. What could be more logical? Why don't you send the guards? Uh, all the citizens need they still appreciate the entertainment. Okay. Can't we go about this without committing genocide? I can convince him to leave in peace. Well, in the worst case scenario, that could count a satisfactory outcome, but I to this, I would strongly prefer a total annihilation. Oh, fine, whatever, I agree. So that's gonna be that. Something else? All right, so this is not our main honcho. And our main honcho could be... Oh boy. Could be where, could be who, could be... What? <laughs> Alright, focus man, focus. But there's this thingy. What's this? Come on, move, 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 move. Why are you so slow, man? Well, let's see first what this is. Looks like a machine, self-serving machine. This is self, self-service, self-serving machine. Okay, leave. You don't know what it is. Leave because you are an idiot. If you were any smart, you would know what it is. Oh, well. So, I really need to get rid of some stuff. I'm way too encumbered. Here we go inside. Oh, look at this. 
Really? How about we try this? Okay. Wow. Triple cologne. We're still encumbered, but we can walk, which is good. How many images of war heroes do we need to collect? <laughs> this guy looks out like he has a wall out suit. A wall out suit. Oh my god. I want to say vault suit from Fallout, and that became a wall out suit. Well. Ah, bugger me sideways. I'm old and I'm stupid. Nothing. Anything else? What is this? Oh! I didn't see you there. Hello. Continue. You're not an average solicitor. How did you notice that, if I may? Yes, practice of... Okay, da, da, da. Just wanted to ask you who you're supposed to be. That's you, Alexander Stubborn, the head of coal shipments and mine diplomacy. Alexander Sablin, on behalf of Yashin, the merchant from Otradnoe. Yashin, mm, so how is the old chap? He is great, but he would love to return Kirsten as a man. I'm afraid I cannot help him with that. His so-called exile was a unanimous decision, and it cannot be undone. This is how we do things in the city, I'm afraid. I can't believe there has to be a way. No, unfortunately, there's no way for that to happen. You see, even though he does not know this, our friend Yashin crossed the path of a very influential organization here in our city, the Mycelium Scientific Society. So maybe I... What did? What has it done? They have strange methods behind the practice. They randomly pick a wealthy, happy person, then they do anything to make his life miserable by all means. Wow. Then when that person is reduced to a crying heap, they show him the way. In other words, they make him their agent, ask him to join their ranks, yada yada yada. Oh, it's a sad story, man. Okay, let's change the topic. The Comrade Sabrin, the head of the coal plant, says he doesn't get enough fuel. From Paragon, yes, rarely do they send us fuel nowadays. They say it's all because of the balance and the big roads. Ah, uh, it's pretty scary, but the problem with the shipments won't go away because you know the reason for it. So you can't do anything about the problem? No. What can I do? I can't spoil his own crime in my wasteland. Listen, maybe you could help us. Yeah, sure. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What exactly do you want? Could Paragon speak to Comrade Bombetov? He is one of those. Okay. You're a representative of a fine town. I'm sure that there will be less attacks on the shipments when the bandits and people from KRZ are guarding them as well. Okay, let's... Uh, what will I get for the help? We can discuss the reward rate later. La, la, la. I'll even write it down. I need to talk to someone better. Okay. Do we have anything else to say to you? Speaking of which, we have st we are fairly close to level up. You point me to some job. Okay. Time of this bunker, yada yada yada, or the another city. Nothing really interesting. Okay, change the topic. Now, again. Okay, that's it. I guess we got everything from him. And on this point, we should actually go and save the game, like. And, no, wait, let's just, let's see if we can kill the piggy. Or not. Maybe we should leave this for another episode. Huh? Uh, what are you doing? Fixing the pipes, but these... Can't even find decent board for them, my bosses, blah, blah, blah. Make too much noise. Ask you a few questions. Ah, let's leave this for another time. See you later. So, we'll get back to this at some point. Maybe there are some interesting things here that we could loot later on. But right now, let's 
close it up here. Thank you very much for watching this one and join us in the next episode of Let's Play Atom RPG. See you soon. Bye bye.